Yo, what is up, everyone? My name is Dom, and we're here to talk about unusual options activity. All right, everyone, let's bring up the disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Statements made in this program are solely the opinion of the show and not specific inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence and realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. All right, everyone. Uh, first one I want to bring up is... Uh, yo, uh, so I just wanted to say uh, today, you know, was a kind of a crappy day uh, for the markets overall here. You know, it did, uh, the indexes didn't really trade down uh, a whole lot, but I don't think I've had a day yet where every single stock and option that I've owned in my that I own in my portfolio was in the red today. So today was a, a pretty crappy day, but you know we're just gonna keep chugging on. I uh, added to a few of my uh, stock positions and uh, some of the options trades that I've brought up on this channel before. So we definitely were doing doing a little adding today but you know there may be some more downside so I never like to uh, add everything in one day so uh, first one I want to bring up oh man I got some in my eye first one I want to bring up is um, Melco M MLCO now this is Melco Resorts uh, they primarily own uh, casinos and resorts in the uh, Macau uh, gaming area uh, in Hong Kong so this, so this is kind of a, uh, a China Hong Kong play here so as you can see here uh, there are some people stepping in here and you know for these October 15th uh, 21 strike calls there's about 15,000 contracts trade now if you look around here there's barely any open interest here so this thing rarely trades options if you look at some of these other ones you know there's nothing you see like 14,000 there's you know there's 4,000 there but you know this thing does not this stock does not trade a whole options whole lot of options whatsoever and when you see people coming in putting down four uh you know you know uh not putting down but you know 14,000 plus contracts trading hands and then you come down to these time and sales uh, you come down to this time and sales here and you know there are some huge orders you know people are coming in getting 3,000 of these things it looks like this might be a part of a sweep order here you know these two uh, looks like there's some other, you know, uh, uh, sweep orders in here. You know, it looks like these ones might be together. You know, you just got to, uh, you know, what I do is I just come into here and then uh, type, you know, type in the filter. And then, you, you, you know, you can kind of just scroll through this and, you know, pick out all the sweep orders. You know, here's, uh, here it looks like a sweep order. So I don't want to take too much time, you know, going through all that. So, you know, let's take a look at the chart. You know, you guys can uh, check that one out on your own. So uh, I'd say this is kind of a value play here. You know, this thing. Uh, looks like it kind of had a double top here, you know, uh, you know, not the double top yet, but it uh, came up pre-pandemic high, you know, traded, you know, sideways, whatever, came up to this uh, 23 level again and just traded down. So it kind of looks like a little bit of a double top here, but you know, this one's three year high is about 32. And you know, this thing kind of has underperformed uh, for quite a while, you know, since uh, uh, 2014, it's high is about 45. So I don't, I do not own these calls. I have a stock position. So, you know, they even made me more, more bullish on the stock position when I saw all these people coming and buying calls. So. Uh, next one I want to bring up is a uh, Union Pacific. Now this is a uh, railway uh, industrial play here. Now I can't remember what they were buying here, but if you come down to this time of sales, you know right away you can see here somebody was putting out a vertical spread here. Uh, so we talk about vertical spreads on this channel before. They're buying the August 20th 210 call and they were shorting the uh, August 20th 220 call against the stock. Now, uh, me personally, you know, these options are kind of a little bit expensive here. You know, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable putting down, uh, you know, almost uh, $1,300 on uh, Union Pacific options. You know, I'd probably buy the stock, but um, once again, I do not have a stock position. I, I, I do not have a position in these contracts because uh, I saw this trade after the close, so I haven't had time to put it on yet. So yeah, you know, if I personally was putting on this trade, I'd maybe buy the 210, you know, sell the 230 or the 240. I'd maybe get a little more aggressive. Uh, you know, this spread is, you know, only a 10 point wide spread here. You know, me personally, I'd probably get uh, a little more aggressive with this spread. Uh, you know, if it was cheaper, I'd probably just do the straight call because we're going out to August and giving ourselves plenty of time. But let's check out the chart. So that's uh, maximum chart. Yeah, so this thing's pre-pandemic high here is about 186. You know, ever since uh, about, you know, the middle of October, this thing kind of has traded sideways, you know. 
uh, you know, it looks like we're kind of at the bottom end of this uh, resistance here. You know, we're not really buying it at an all-time high, so I like somebody stepping in and, you know, kind of buying the dip in this one. So once again, I do not have a position on this one yet, but I'll take a look in the morning, and uh, hopefully it's down, and maybe I'll put a position on it. So thanks for everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you've got any questions, and we'll see you in the next one.